what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump brothers it is very interesting to see a lot of black men booty clapping for the left okay and i just want to say i don't hate any of my brothers um i'm an african-american brother um i'm from the community i am an african-american and i love all of you okay i really do we may disagree but most of us are from the same community and even if you are a democratic voter it's fine with me okay i'm not mad at you but then if you're gonna be a democratic supporter and support kamala harris and then what we've seen in the black community over the last 60 years you should have a justification by why the black community is what it is and whose fault is it did we not ask the democrats for you know a certain things in our agendas like what are some of the things that we didn't do if you're gonna have the democratic defense then have that because what we have here for um, uncle luke okay <laughs> And I'm really, I'm really tempted to call him something else, but I'm not going to do that, right? Uncle Luke is going to basically use a very, very bad defense about black men voting Republican. Um, you need to educate yourself on the Democrats. They don't care about America. And the Republicans do. Please write on here how the Republicans care about black people. I ain't talking about no brown people. I'm talking about black people. Tell me what they've done to support black people. No, I'm not talking about Diddy. Tell me what they've done. I'll wait. What they've done, what legislation that they've passed to support Black people, what legislation they didn't stand in the front of against when it came to black people? Do what you got to do, 32. I hope they gave you a check for this. Get your money. I know what you have. Y'all on here be talking about black for Trump. Y'all getting that man money. And y'all going to go in the boat and boot and vote for the black lady because y'all can't live. Y'all won't be able to live with yourself after that. So his defense is, well, what did Donald Trump do for black people? What did the Republicans do? They haven't done nothing for black people. So that's his defense. They haven't done nothing for black people. So if you're going to vote for Donald Trump, they're not doing nothing for black people either, right? That's his defense. My question is this to anybody that's a Democratic voter, if that's your position. If I go to a restaurant for 60 years, they give me bad service, right? I complain about their service. I say their service is not good, but I continuously go back there, right? And I only go to that restaurant. Then I turn around and say, well, you know what? I'm threatening to leave y'all and go to another restaurant. Well, the other restaurant ain't give you nothing. What have they did for you? Well, what, what you're doing is you're basically not talking about the fact that you had my money, you had my service, you've had my plans, all of that as a supporter of you, your business. I've been there as a customer. I have been loyal to you and you're completely negating that fact. And you're not talking about the fact that you haven't done anything for me. So basically you're telling me that, well, I should still stick with you because the other people not going to do anything for me either. And for me, that's just bogus. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. Why would you even say something like that? And I will tell you why you'll say something like that, because you're not serious. And what I keep seeing is these people, a lot of the black people, a lot of the black men over there, black women too, just don't expect anything from these folks. Okay. What, 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 like, who are you to ask for something? So you're going to ask black people for something. Why would you do that? You're crazy. Oh no, you're not gonna do that because the other people ain't gave you nothing either. And that in particular, that is the issue. That is the problem. It continues to be a problem in black America. And I'm gonna tell you one thing for sure, it's sickening. It is sickening. And black people are always out here never expecting anything at all. And so you're giving your loyalty to a party who won't give you anything. And so if you want to go to Republicans, well, they ain't done nothing for you either. Well, damn, let me just stay dusty my whole life. Let me just go and just jump off the damn bridge since you didn't say that. And this is what I tell people. This is why things are problematic completely. And it doesn't make 
any damn sense. Stop trying to tell black men and black people that they don't get into the Republicans if you're not gonna give them something. Black people deserve everything. Let me tell you this, we work hard in this country and especially black men. How many black men bust their ass every single day, okay? As a black person, you bust your butt every single day. You pay taxes, you work long hours, and if you need to be considered in America as a citizen of a country you pay taxes in and nobody wants to listen to you, you should take your ass to someplace else. A lot of liberal Democrats who are pushing this, as soon as they don't get what they want, they're gone. They are gone. And you all know they're gone. Oh, we not get what we supposed to be getting? Shoot, we out of here. We can't deal with that. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. Why is it that black people gotta always suffer behind everything? Black folks gotta always get the least. And then at what point do you just keep taking that? You know what I'm saying? You just keep catching L's. Is that what the black man is supposed to do? Just be catching L's in his own community? And the people that are okay with this, they already rich, y'all already have money. And this is the problem that I keep talking about. A lot of the people that talk like this are filthy rich. Somebody like Luke, you're getting paid to talk like this, okay? Magic Johnson, who I'm gonna get into another video, you're getting paid to talk like this, bro. You're getting completely broke off to talk. Like there is no doubt about it that you're out here getting something. That's how you got your millions. But you don't care about nobody else who's broken who don't have anything. And that's the issue. Some of our people, keep voting against their interests, then what do you get? I'm gonna tell you, you end up getting leadership. That is so ridiculously dusty. It is so ridiculously crusty. It is so incompetent. Like what you got going on in Dalton, Illinois, incompetent. Like what you got going on in most of black America. It is so bad that the cities become corrupt. Women are not safe, kids are not safe. Then you come around and you talk about white supremacy, but then all they are gonna do is turn around and say, well, this is what you voted for. This is what you voted for. When immigrants come over here and replace you, it's not their fault. These are the people who you let them do this to you. And now you're mad. Now you're upset. Then these people come over there with your experience, get free things, get free health care, like what's going on in the city of Chicago, and they get all this stuff. And right now, that's not the Republicans doing that. Those are Democrats. Why? Because they want to get rid of y'all, okay? And they want to continue to do everything the wrong way. But y'all gonna learn. And Uncle Luke is out here, silly as hell, talking about the, what the Republicans ain't gonna give you. They, we not voting for Republicans as blacks. Republicans don't, oh, if we was voting for them, then it would make sense. We don't vote for them. The Democrats should give us what we want. How can you vote for somebody who won't give you anything? You're being disingenuous as hell. So guys, we think it's your boy O'Shea Dude Jackson back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Please follow you, please turn the bell. We're out.